Hi guys, Tom here, America's favorite hoarder. I decided to do a, well, maybe not so much of a live stream. Ah, real beer. Getting this extra stout. Not the draft stout, but the extra stout. $9.99 for a six pack of bottles. My local Apple Market. No complaints here. Ah, but back to the matter at hand. I've got a little fire going in my fire pit. And it is a little after 8 o'clock at night. On a Tuesday afternoon. Evening. I'm already on my fourth one of these. After having a Modelo. Four of these. And maybe three or four shots of... Mmm, some kind of whiskey. No, it's not Jack Daniels. James something. I really can't remember. But I'm out sitting on my home de depot bucket. Mm. That blew into my yard a few weeks ago. I told you I found a use for it. Even though it's cracked, I can still sit on it. It makes a, a great great chair but I'm burning some wood in my dryer barrel drinking a good beer Guinness as you can see there's, there's something in it look how dark that is can't pour too much out why would I want to pour too much out on the ground it's not Bud Light or Budweiser mmm I tried to do a live stream, but for some reason, maybe it was the beer. I couldn't. So, but back to the matter at hand. Ah, nice and warm. It's probably about 60 outside. I got my, yes, dryer burn barrel. You gotta love it. Oh, it feels so good. Nice warm heat. But I did manage to get another coat of paint on my hen house. So three walls are done. I did the front, the, uh, let's see, the east facing side yesterday. And I found another paintbrush today, which is right there. As you can see, I'm in the trash. Let me clarify things. Yes, found in the trash. Matter of fact, that won't be any good tomorrow. I'll probably do it in the fire pit. But I got this wall done today. So, I was thinking maybe, maybe, just maybe tomorrow, I will go through these. 20 something cans of upside down marking paint that I found a few months ago and I paint the back side which nobody will ever see but at least will, it will be protected from the elements and I'm still not sure whether to paint the top or not because I may or may not have shingles let's get this problem out of the, out of the way as I speak like I said I may or may not have Enough upside down mar marking paint. But I know, I do know where to get more. <laughs> so, we will just uh, throw this paintbrush in the old fire. Bye bye. Ah, the red paint. Ah, it's a beautiful thing. Ah, beautiful outside. No, we've got something coming down. Can't see it there. I don't know if I could expand the picture. Yeah, nope, you can't see it there either. No, <laughs> you can't see it there. There's an airplane going by. There is the... Mm -hmm. South, southwest view. 
around in my yard. And yes, I still have my, yes, waiting for Carlos. Waiting for my Carlos to come visit me so we could send, uh, send, no, share the 12 pack of Guinness. I was glad I was able to introduce him to this fine, fine beer. No, there it is again. Too much to be expected. Uh, minimize. Way down there, down the hill. There's the Guinness. He always laughed at me. Thinking my Guinness was mm -hmm, over-exaggerated. Oh, yeah. God love Guinness. Extra stout. Not the draft stout. They sell two kinds in the store. And yes, they are only 11.2 ounces per bottle. Both kinds. But the other one, yeah, if you're really desperate, maybe. This one, you want a good Irish stout. This is the one you buy. You know, Texas stout. Uh, good black beer. As John would say, John Wayne would say, give me one of those black beers. We'll throw a couple coins on the bar. Uh, those days are gone. I was like, give me one of them black beers. Yeah, six dollars. Yeah, I'll buy it at the store and go home. Look at that beautiful red chicken house. Tom's Hen House. Maybe that's the idea for the name. They can't call it mm, Tom's El Pollo Loco. El Pollo Locos. Yeah. Crazy chickens. I love chickens. They're so docile. But I wanted to check in. A beautiful night. We're sitting out in the yard. Enjoying my fire pit. From the uh, dryer. Do I dare say? Do I dare say? Let's see. Oh, look, look. What's behind that tree? What's behind that tree? Let's go check out. What's behind that tree? Oh, look. <laughs> Another dryer. Oh, uh, how can it be? <laughs> ah, what's behind the dryer? Oh, damn, a washing machine. And <laughs> I've got a washer, a dryer, uh, a pedestal. Uh, somebody left my cans in. Hmm. Part of a microwave. Yeah, a beautiful Tuesday evening on a beautiful battery Tuesday from work. I don't think my neighbor ever noticed his Home Depot bucket blew in my yard. Oh, that being said, I've got to show you something. <coughs> Ooh. Hey, Homer. Hey, Bo. No, no, no. Just kidding, just kidding. Don't get excited. Don't mind these extra bottles laying around. I seem to multiply wherever I'm at. Look at this. They were doing some remodeling. That is a... You can tell by the sound. A good 10 pounds chunk of lead pipe. If that wasn't enough, there's another 10 pound chunk of lead pipe. So, yes. All I need is my Lyman bullet, yeah, a Lyman bullet press. And I could be making bullets for the rest of my life. Yes, I've got a, believe it or not, Lyman bowl and lead does melt at such a low melting point that you can melt it in a coffee can a bean can 
over an open flame. I believe it's around 415 degrees, give or take. So you could melt that lead pipe into something useful, like uh, chess pieces, Civil War pieces, or uh, bullet pieces. Oh, did I say that? Uh, well, I'm rambling on over 10 minutes long. I've got McGinnis. And I do have a little bit more wood that I dug up from the creek earlier. So I will throw that in. As a matter of fact, I'll do that now. I don't want anybody to think I'm ever exaggerating things. Stay. Stay! Good boy. I never say anything that I don't mean. Look at that beautiful old light wood. I could crack it over my head and it probably wouldn't hurt. <laughs> we'll just toss that in there right now. Maybe maybe one more. Oh, hold on. A twig. Every twig, every twig is used. I just hope that when I uh, throw the second log in and sit back down on this Home Depot bucket, I don't fall asleep and fall over and roll down the hill. Oh no. What a, what a catastrophe. W.C. Fields once said in a great movie called Never Gives a Second an Even Break. Uh, the warmth. Uh, isn't it lovely? Well, I've rambled on for 12 minutes for no reason at all other, other than to ramble on. My cat's probably wondering where I'm at. As you can't see outside the back door. Oh, yeah. See how quickly that old wood's catching on fire, though? I do have to back up. It's kind of warm. So, another wall painted on my chicken coop. More wood cleaned up from the backyard. Another four or five bottles of Guinness finished off from my hoard. And that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Believe it or not, that's all. Keep hoarding. You never know when you might need it one day. Bye-bye.